King. I'm not. Just give it a second. My dashboard always doesn't seem to work right. Hello! We have something right there. What is this? Ari comment. Sample of no interest. Comes one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Dang it. Ari comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. This is heavy rain. One of the new games that has just been released from, uh... Yeah, you're fine. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Oh, oops, I already looked at that. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Oh. They're missing five days. It's okay. Life. It's interesting. See reference file. It's, um... It's a murder mystery game. Sort of. You're playing as a bunch of different characters, I s I've noticed. Trying to find, um... The Origami Killer. I believe... Eey. It's actually made by the same people. It is, it is made by the same people that made Detroit become human. Barry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Nice! Barry, come in. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. Probably the end of the trail. I want to go at. I want to go at. Let me go at. Fine, I won't go at. That way? What's this way? Ah, uh, these are all the policemen footprints. I don't know what's up there. No, oh, what do we have right here? What are you? Yep. Huh, got some breakfast stuck in my teeth. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. Oh, okay. There's a good chance that they're the killers. <laughs> Oh, your chief face. Harry Common. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. I don't want them to see me climb up there. It's kind of slippery. That'd be embarrassing. See, look at that. Look at him. Uh, 
Caught myself on fire while cooking. Sounds like something I would do. The things I do for this job. Looks like I'll have to get my suit cleaned. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Ooh, we got some tire tracks up in this. More footprints. There's a good chance that they're the killers. All right, and then tire tracks. tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Think I've seen all there is to see. Alright, let's head down, I guess. I love quick time events. Yeah, I did it. One more time. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Did fall on her ass. That'd be good. Good not to do that. Alright. Hey, buddy. You all good? Okay, bye. Back to the office. Stay in. I, I'm gonna oh, leave. I've seen I'm leaving too. Let's go. I didn't want to fall on my ass, so I can't. No. I am a respectable man that works for the FBI. I shall not fall on my ass. Wait, can I just... No? Can I just go through tape? Tape. Tape. There you go. Jesus! I was like, I don't have to go through the police tape. Alright. Hey, up. Hey, up. Hey, up. Let's go! Just kidding. We wouldn't actually do that. Control's vibrating like a motherfucker. Stay hydrated, ladies and gents! And everything else in between. I unlocked a new bonus. Oh my god! Oh, um, butterfly. butterfly. Um, hmm. Let's go with a wolf. A wolf's head. Okay. Uh, that looks like a crab. Um, death. Death. Because of the sights. We're at a therapy office. Wow, we. Oh, we're the da we're the dad again. All right, all right. I couldn't tell, but but the thing. But what's up? Um. The results of your MRI scans. All right, cool. Seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. 
It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. What are you talking about? Your kid was a dumbass. I'm sorry. But still. Fucking, you don't leave your parents and you look both ways when you cross the fucking street. That is not your fault. How is Sean? Uh, distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Um. Depressed. I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. I didn't say that. I just said depressed. To your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Okay, dude. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. You gotta be honest about that shit. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. All right, and that's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Uh, excuse me. Ex and excuse me. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Uh. Oh, ah. Food. The doctor looks creepy. Did you see his eyes? He's like, I want some of that ass. Um. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Boy! Child. Um, how's school? How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Fuck! That's my fault. I'm Shit. Sorry about that. Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? All right, you're good. Um. Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? What's wrong? What's wrong, little dude? No, I'm all right. Let's see if we can cheer up the child. Um. What am I going to do to cheer him up? Huh? Is that a boomerang? a boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. <gasps> yeah, let's be can Australian. Boomerang. <gasps> boomerang. Qua. All right. Uh. Hey. Ah. Uh... Watch out! Scotty! Yeah! Child happiness! We did it! Let's go again. Oh, hi-yo! Oh, hi-yo! Whoa! You did it, Dad! Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is... Get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Uh, yeah. Now throw it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah! Good job, kid. I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean. FATHERLY AFFECTION! <laughs> Yay!
Yeet. Our child loves us again. Alright. <clears throat> child! Would you like to seesaw? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeet! Yas! <laughs> Squeak! Yep! Come on, Dad, make me fly! <laughs> Just shoots him off into space. Hey yap! Hey yap! Hey yap! Hey yap! Hey yap! Hey yap! Child's laughter! Child, you're gonna F up your crotch if you keep doing that. Alright, you're good. You're good. Cool. Your crotch didn't get effed up. What's up, kid? Um. Hmm. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. Hey, kid. Uh, what do you want to do now? Um. Want to go on the merry ground? What about that merry go round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! <laughs> Great! More child and happy fun! Yas! <clears throat> I gotta calm down with that voice. Oh. <laughs> what do you think I am? The freaking Hulk child? Ah! My hand's cramping! I'm not used to using my right hand. I usually use my left hand when it comes to spasms and passion, because I'm left handed. Whoa! That's <laughs> he head is spinning. Child! For astronauts, though. <laughs> Oh, nice! Left-handed people unite! Uh, yo. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. Grab a backpack and go, kid. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. That's okay. It's the more of the population's right handed anyway. Alright, kid. Let's go. It's starting to rain. What's up? What's up? Hey, Dad. Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Hey, dude. Uh, ticket? One, please. That's the dollar. Alright, go on, little dude. Sinister music. Oh no, we're having a blackout. That is not a good time for a blackout.
Why is it always Cambeak West? You always end up in the same spot. That's where we were last time. He's gonna, yeah, because he's gonna be back in the park. Oh no, that's his backpack. Why am I walking? I don't know where we're running, but we're running. Why are we walking? Why are you walking? I would be sprinting everywhere. What is up? What's with the little scar right there? He's got you got a little scar right there. Like, like, little, you know. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. B to the S. People are looking at me like I'm crazy. I better stop. <laughs> ah, okay. Charlene, I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Hi. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. 
We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, uh, why am I going this way? To tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get on well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're going to have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. That coffee? I like coffee. Where's coffee? Yeah, coffee. Heck yes. <laughs> he looks like I do. He's just like. Bad coffee. Yeah, bad coffee. I know that feeling, bro. I'd make that noise too. Feels bad, man. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure. Why not? Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Let's be a good, good person. Have everything go down smoothly while we're here. Make it, uh... Make it an enjoyable... D g visit. Oh, uh, your words. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. This, this is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. I agree with him, like the fuck? I mean like wherever you can work, you can work, okay. but at the same time Please fucking do. clean the place. There's fucking cobwebs and shit everywhere. Jesus. Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! Get this shit off! Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're moving it now? Hey, ah! There you go. Breathing room! Get our fancy glasses on in our glove. Step one. Change the office. Ooh. Yep. Yep. What's this one? 
Ooh, where's this? Ooh. Wow. 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 Hmm. What's this one? We're just gonna look at all of them. Huh. Nature. The lady. Pretty. Hmm. Oh, wrong way. I want to check out the ocean one. Damn, we're underwater! <laughs> just, just a calm office man underwater. Alright, let's check this one. Shit, we're on Mars. Fuck, that's pretty neat. Hmm. I think I like this one the most. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one. I like this one. This one's pretty. Yeah, you're here. Okay, cool. Um, boop. Oh, what do we got? We got some clues. All right. Uh, what's this one? Okay, no geo analysis. Alrighty then. Um, analyze. Chevrolet Malibu. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay. That'll narrow that down. Um, can we geoanalysis the paper? Just one origami store in town. Alright. Analyze. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Okay. All right, and then the orchid. The gene analysis where the orchid is. The orchid is a common species. It Shit. Can be found at any flower shop. Shit. Well, fuck. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. All right. Shit, that's not it. Uh, fuck. Oh, that's my environment. Um, files. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In the rainwater. Oh, is that why it's called heavy rain? All right, that makes sense then. Oh wait, can we do analysis? Guess it's true. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to do this one handed. There you go. Always the same ritual. <laughs> An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. 
Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Interesting. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Trypto? The fuck? I need to look up what the fuck Tripto is. Because... It's gonna change how I think about this character. Did I? I don't know if I'm spelling it right. I don't know how I spell how that works. Uh -oh. All right, look it up. Not saying anything. How do they drink the shitty coffee here? Seriously, though. Ooh, my neck. Oh. We're him again. Alright. Um, okay. We're reporting our child, so we need to remember what Sean was wearing. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... It's after school, so it had to have been, I would guess... 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, 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 beige. A beige coat. Because it was kind of whitish. And a pair of pants. Uh, 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 green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh, uh, uh. I, I did. I... I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I, I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I was searching. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, 
Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Ah, that's... I mean, he's right. But still, it's like... Your son's gonna die, probably. Oh, there's... There's our ex <laughs> Hi there. Did they find something? No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Uh, this dude, what's up, detective bro? Well, yeah, private detective. Detective bro. The other guy's. He's a detective too, but he's agent. We're gonna call him agent bro. Oh, yeah. Dude, that dude's got some candy and stuff. Look at that cute little store that guy owns. Hello! Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Oh. Hi. Can I help you, sir? Well, I uh, hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case. Look at that chat on my phone. Well, give me one I'd second. Like to ask a few Cause it's not gonna pop up. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Uh. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body right. on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and... At least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Good evening, sir. This is a robbery. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. Shit. Come here. Easy, now. buddy. Easy. Don't move. Hands up. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. Are you deaf? I said put your hands up. I'm warning you. I'll shoot. Easy, friend. Uh, reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down. 
and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Uh, let's see. Name. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Calm. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Easy. Um... You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name's Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? So, let's just... You haven't done anything serious yet. If you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Buddy. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, buddy, I tried. I swear I tried. You saw me try to negotiate it calmly. I swear I tried. That was unthank you, sir. Whew. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Poison snakes. Origami. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Razor, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. I swear I tried. <laughs> well, meanwhile, a man is unconscious on the floor and he's just like looking at him like... Well... Better clean this guy up. <clears throat> oh! Am I the wife now? Oh, no, this is the mom. That's right. This is the mom. Right? I think. Find out. <gasps> oh, no, this is a different person. Who the hell are you? I don't know you. You scare me. Who are you? Uh, what's that? Ah, uh, cool. Uh... I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Jesus, that's a big step. 
Uh, just shower? A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Okay, where's that? Oh, what the hell? Ah, drink! Drink some mineral water! Water! Agua, it is good for you. Glug, 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 glug. Damn, she's drinking all that water. It's gone now. Oh, wait, never mind. It refilled magically. The magicness! You got any food? I like food. Show me what you got in your fridge! Is it OJ? Damn! I was hoping for more OJ! Huh. Boop! Chug that hot tea. Chug it. Let the burning liquid sear your throat. No. All right. Guess not. Check out the pictures over there. What does she do for work? Uh. Two forty-seven a.m. Always the same time. Really interesting. Where's your shower, lady? All okay, right. Guess we're going up. Uh, bathroom this way? Just gonna guess. She got some fancy dinnerware. Did you look at that? What is that? What is this? What is this? Alright, that's not. No, that, oh, that's outside. Um. This the bathroom? Yeah, bathroom. Cool. Oh, that's an interesting sink. What is that? Is that a toilet? That's a toilet. We're not gonna go to the toilet. We're gonna go take a shower. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Uh, yeah. What are you? Wait, I wanna know what you are! Alright, guess I'm taking pills. Fucking, I didn't even know what it was. Alright, I guess. Lady, shower. Ah! Cover your eyes, children! Ah! That's a bite! Oh god! Oh damn! Alright. <laughs> Glad I have the MA block on this, I guess. Get out of here with that. No one wants to see that. We're here to play games, not see boobs. Oh, fucking. Really, game? Jesus Christ, could you be more finicky about fucking drying a person? Jesus. Put your clothes on. Young lady, dress yourself! Jesus! There, you've chowered and had your fucking hot drink. And go to fuck the sleep. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? Try again. Did you try? Try again. <laughs> What's up? Try going to sleep? No? I know you're just gonna stretch. <laughs> Stretching. Oh, but we can't. No, it's not something we could try. Fucking, whatever. Maybe we'll do work on the computer. Check out, check out that shit. There you go. We're awake. Might as well do work. <laughs> A 
I'm looking at it right now, my dude. I have it open on my phone. I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think you're starting to lose it. What the fuck? You have a ghost! Spookity doogity! Alright, uh, wait. Just go close the fridge, I guess. Shoogity doogity. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. 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 There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Use your computer as a weapon! Your lamp! Did you try that? Come in the face. Oh, shit, he's got a knife. What the fuck? Why is there more than one of them? Chair, use the chair. Hit him with the chair. Fucking bite his ass. Lamp. What the fuck? Why do I keep hitting that? Hit him with the TV. Hit him with the TV. No, that is not hitting him with the TV. You cunt. Jesus, she's getting the shit beat out of her. Um... Jesus. What the oh! Jesus Christ, lady! You need to see a doctor! Is that the fucking dream she has every night? Damn. That is fucked up. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. And I knew something was up with that because fucking... There was one person and now there's tw Oh, fuck. There's a bunch of reporters outside. Fuck off.
Oh, what's that? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one that Killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. The locker ticket. It's what the other parent got. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Excuse me, neighbor. Excuse me, neighborino. Don't mind me. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. That's not safe. Put on your seatbelt, young man! Easy there, buddy. You need to calm down. Come on. Breathe. Gonna... Gonna have to make it through the crowd. Like, no time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. I'm just not gonna make it. I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Just, just do it. You can do it. It's for your kid. Come on, man. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck? Sorry, people. Dad. Jason! Just shut up. Focus on the lockers. We need to get to the lockers. Just ignore everything else. Wait, is this the lockers? Yeah, it's the luggage lockers. Fuck it. 
We need to focus. We need to focus on that. Damn it! I wanted to focus on the child that's still alive. Jason! Sorry. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Ooh, 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 sorry, sorry, mm, sorry, sorry. Jason! I bet there's an achievement for doing this without touching anyone. Here, grown man huddling himself inside of a place. And they're like, you okay, bro? Oh boy. Made yourself go to the, all the way to the other end because you're crazy. Oh, never mind. We're right the fucking there, apparently. Alright. Cool. Line 18, box number 3. Okay. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. I didn't, I didn't mean to go that way. Line 18, box number three. Okay. Uh, no, oh, 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 we'll just go down here. Okay. Uh, that way. Another shoebox. <laughs> Love how he's just like, it's my child's hand, isn't it? Probably in a motel to stay away from the paparazzi. <laughs> no, that is not good. No, the VP. What? What? Lucky locker. Nice. All right. So. You know, I know you want to know what's in the box, but you're going to have to wait until next time. So, thank you everybody so much for coming by and watching. Remember, take care of yourselves because you are great, amazing, awesome, and wonderful. Bye, everybody.